Hey, Game of Thrones fans, Confire Nate here to talk about a theory. A theory I've conjured from looking into the flames of last week's episode. And this theory is that Bran is going to be the reason for the fall of the wall. Now take a minute, think about that. Okay, you're saying, what the crap? Bran just literally got his butt kicked by a whole bunch of White Walkers. And what in the world, how in the world is this possibly going to happen? Well, a couple things need to happen. One, we see that him and Mir are on their way making it back to the wall. Uh, and you have to assume that they're going to need some help because how in the world are these? I mean, she's dragging him basically, and they got all these White Walkers. There's no more Hodor. Let's have a moment of silence for Hodor. Um, and they're going to try to figure out how in the world are they going to get back. Well, if you remember from the trailers when they first released them, there was an image of a character on a horse that looked like he was riding and, and hit a White Walker. It looked like almost with like a torch. Now, you kind of have to assume that this character could be the character of, of Cold Hands from the books that many people who have read the books will know what we're talking about. But for us, movie sh watchers and book readers, we're kind of hoping that this character is going to be kind of a mixed blend and hopefully, fingers crossed, that we get Benjen. Uncle Benjen to the rescue. And that would be awesome. It would be a really cool way to kind of nod towards book readers who have known about Cold Hands and have suspected that he might be Uncle Benjen. Um, it would be great. It'd make me really excited. But also, all this kind of, you know, if, if this does happen and Uncle Benjen helps him get back to the wall, that's where everything gets crazy. But you need to watch this clip really closely because this is the clip that I think that really kind of sets us apart. So here it is. He saw me! The Night King! He saw me! He touched you. I don't know, he was close, but... He touched you. He knows you are here. He'll come for you. But he can't get in. He can now. His mark is on you. You must leave, all of you. Okay, now the importance of this video is that you can see when the Night King touched Bran, he left him a mark. And the Three-Eyed Raven basically says, you know, now he can get into the cave. Now, the cave is supposedly has wards from the Children of the Forest to prevent them from getting into it. So that is a big deal that now he's marked them. It's kind of broken down those wards. Now, what other thing out there did the Children of the Forest also create that has magical wards in it? Uh, the wall. Okay, now history will tell us that the Children of the Forest with Bran the Builder built this wall using... Uh, world, worldly abilities and magic, you know, they didn't really get into, but you can obviously assume that magic was used in creating this thing. So you know there are wards there to prevent them from getting past the wall. Now what happens if Bran passes past the wall? Will that mark make the wall either, I mean, one, it could just make it so that the White Walkers could pass the wall. Could make the wall fall down. Wouldn't that be epic if the wall just collapsed because of this? Either way, this will ultimately lead to the White Walkers coming all the way past the wall into the mainland of men in Westeros. And that is very interesting and also very scary. So there's my theory. What do you think? Do you think that Bran is going to be ultimately the fall? He is going to be the person that leads to the fall of the wall. He's going, his mark is more of a purpose than just him getting into the cave. It will also be that. Maybe the Night King has been waiting for Bran. I mean, they've basically been sitting there piling up this army, waiting for something. Maybe this was it. Maybe they were waiting for the opportunity to get a hold of Bran and set in ch all this into motion, the ultimate uh, White Walker assault on Westeros. So with that being said, what do you think? Do you agree with me? Do you think it's possible that that's the case? Uh, leave me a comment. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And look forward for more crazy speculation and theories uh, for Game of Thrones in the future. But until next time, see you later.